Kids Productions. Yeah, it's seven o'clock. Let's flip in the building. Hey, money M's, you ready? Let's go. Welcome to M Street, the hottest podcast. And all that cash and money M's pockets, it look like thigh pads. He talking trending topics, he ain't no carbon copy. We talking sports, music, and fashion, and other options. To get us out the hood and keep that paper coming And I smoke cones, not backwards, I'm about to blaze a onion These rappers flexing on the gram and they got fake cheddar This intro was provided to you by Flip Mayweather That right, that right Yeetie, yeetie, money else, what's up? Yeah, Lil Flip in the building, screwed up click Welcome to M Street Yo, 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 what is going on? What is going on? Welcome to another episode of Welcome to Elm Street. I'm your boy, your host, Money Elms. What is good, people out here in Dallas, man? I got an exclusive special show tonight. You know what I mean? Dedicated to my boys, of course, man. Dallas Cowboys, man. Gotta get it. The season is on the verge of beginning, man. And let me introduce my special guest co-host of tonight. I got the Dallas Cowboys super fans, man. Give it up, man. So let's introduce, man. We got uh, we got Balls Mahoney, man, yeah, in the got, house already. <laughs> you got Super Cowboy right here. Let's eat. Yeah. Big Val, the hat float. There you go, there man. You go. There you have it, man. These guys are extreme witty when it comes to uh, representing these boys, man, and. Uh, Appreciate y'all coming on, man. Oh, you know, especially since we're on the verge of that season opener, man. Yeah. I'm excited, excited, man. Y'all excited or what? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, yeah, dude. You see the smiles on the face. It's been a long... You ready. Yeah. I haven't taken yeah. this off all season. Exactly, <laughs> man. It's been... You know, you have the draft, but, you know, other than the draft, you know, it it gets dry, man. These, these smiles are harder and harder to come by. Yeah. yeah so, yeah, yeah, we're ready, man. I bet, man. I know I'm ready, man. I'm ready to kick it into gear, man. Um, but let's go ahead and just jump right in and start talking about these uh, what's popping out here in the streets. So, uh, so Tom Brady was just uh, recently in an interview, and I think he was doing uh, some type of post interview, and uh, they, you know, they asked him, "Where well, you been in my A? You haven't been in a training camp, and I guess." He said he's 45 years old. He has a lot of shit going on. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? So what's what's y'all take on that? Well, man, dude, I'm going to I'm going to be honest with you, man. You know, until further notice, as mm. long as that man is on a football field, he's a contender. Yeah. I mean, there's no ifs ands or buts. He's proven it. Uh there's nothing left for him to prove. He's done it with two teams. The yep. second one he basically built from ground up. Mm-hmm. So, you know, hell yeah, I'm worried. If, <laughs> I don't care about pre. Yeah, he can miss all the games he wants. He takes the field. He's a threat. Yeah. You know, it's that simple. Yeah. So, um, you know, kudos to the to the Bucks, man. They got that that Kush quarterback. You know. Just sitting there waiting to throw the ball. Yeah. I'm going I'm to give you a prediction right here. I think Mike is going to retire his ass first game. That's what I think. I think he's going to yeah. <laughs> I think he's going to pop him good where he's not going to get up and it's going to be over. Oh, man. Yeah. Like, wouldn't, wouldn't that be badass, bro? Hey, he's going to reconsider coming out of retirement. <laughs> hey, Seriously. Cowboys win, that's all that <laughs> Exactly, man. If we can get so, that win. I mean, that would so be you, badass. you excited for the Tampa Bay game? Oh, yeah. We're going to be out there tailgating. We're going to do our thing. So I'm oh, ready. Man. Been I'll waiting win. all season, all this whole summer. <laughs> We've been staying busy doing our thing, but we ready for this football season to kick off. Got I know that. Tom probably is probably gonna regret uh, not playing in the preseason. That's what I think. He might be rusty, man. Who knows? We'll see. Hey, I hope uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> I hope hey, so. but hey, but our boys didn't play 
the preseason. Yeah, either. we didn't exactly. I was about to say that <laughs> Dak didn't play. <laughs> nobody Z, played. Nobody did. So it's like, hey, man, you know, as long as he takes the field, I'm worried. But yeah. like he said, man, we we got a good crew. I think this is one of the better defensive yeah, schemes definitely. that we've had in a long time. So I think we'll be able to keep them busy, man. I think my, we might be better than last year. So Yeah, I think we so, We almost too. beat them last year. So. Yeah, because our front line is going to be a beast this year. Yeah. Plus our secondary. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're they're looking damages. good, man. They're looking good. So exactly. Brady better be ready, man. He ain't gonna <laughs> you, he ain't coming into you, a cush game, man. You guys, will remember, <laughs> you guys will remember what I said. We're gonna retire him week one, bro. He's gonna get hurt and that's it. No more Tom Brady in the NFL. And we're gonna be known as as the team that retired Tom Brady. The dream crusher. The dream crusher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell got yeah, a lot man. Of dudes coming after him, man, that first game, that's for sure. So um what what do you think the score is gonna be? Let's let's go around the table. Damn. Predictions. <laughs> predictions. I haven't even thought about that. Season opener against man. the Bucks. You know, I think because I don't think it'll be a high scoring yeah. game. I think because I think both teams come with experience now. You know, Brady's not going to come in, you know, blazing guns, throwing yeah. deep passes right off the bat. You know, he's up there in age, so he knows he's got to be careful. And Dak, Z, all, CD, they, you know, they got to get their timing down now. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think that it'll be a low scoring game, but we'll, we'll take it. I'm going to go with 24. 14, be about a 14. 10 point, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dallas. Dallas, oh yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Just making, sure. Just making sure. Don't doubt me, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. No, I think I think the same thing. Like, it's going to be, it's going to be low scoring. I think Tom Brady does, he's good, but he does rely on his defense too. You know, as we know in that that Super Bowl against mm. the Seahawks, you know what I mean? Like yeah. he he lost that Super Bowl and <laughs> his, his defense, defense came up, him. bro. And the, then the Seahawks gave it to him. But um, a lot of those games that he's won, the defense has come up for him. So I think it's going to be a defensive game. Um, so t score, I would say like 24-21. 24-21, that's kind of close. Close. By a field goal, but well, this time I, we win it. I think it's going to be a little bit more different because they <laughs> always go at it when they play each other. Yeah. Regardless, I think Brady's going to try to put some points on the board, just like that's going to try to put some points on the board. The defense is going to be there, but everybody made mistakes. So I'm thinking 35-42 Dallas. 35-42. That's shoot a out. good action game. Shoot out there. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I guess i go go uh, 27-15. There you go, man. So we'll see what happens. Man. We'll see uh, who's the closest. I know, right? There <laughs> you go, we man. Write it down. Oh, yeah. I'm most definitely excited. So y'all definitely going to be in the house, right? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. oh without a doubt. <laughs> and without a God, doubt. You'll be in the Lot tailgating? 11. Lot 11, right next to the pawn shop. We're going to be knocking it out right there. Hell yeah, most definitely, man. So if y'all get to go out there, hey. Y'all make sure y'all y'all support the team, the fans, man. You know, because these guys come out and they do it. And they do it big for the fans, man, and the Cowboys representing. But um, so did y'all hear what uh, – uh, there was another incident on, on the field where um, I guess a, a player from the Browns was holding a, a baggie of some sort that contained a mystery substance. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> supposedly they were saying it was a bag of weed, you know, but uh, it just came out that uh, it's just sunflower seeds. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear about it? Went oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. And I think it goes, <clears throat> it goes to show you, man, you know, mm. we, we live in a society where we want to know the information, like, right there and then, like, what is it? What happened? Right now, I need all the details. Mm. Man, just, you know, if everybody would just relax and, hey, man, let them, let them look into it and they'll let us know. 
you know, when the time's right. Yeah. And it avoids all that, man. You know, and I feel for the guy. <laughs> yeah. You know, because he, he, you know, it uh, doesn't necessarily burn him. Yeah. But, you know, he has to fade the questions now. Yeah. yeah. Instead of focusing on the, on the opener. Yeah. Exactly. You know? Yeah, that, that image on him, so. Exactly, and it's like, come on, guys. questions ain't gonna be about his game. They're gonna be about that baggie. Exactly. Yeah. Well, well, why did you have it on the field? I mean, what were you? I mean, it's like that come would on, be pretty guys. bold to have that on the field. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, with all the exactly. Yeah, with all the cameras on you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was probably because there's a there's actually a reel going around where this dude he's actually um, one of those arena football players. Mm -hmm. He's actually the quarterback. He scores a touchdown and his celebration, instead of going into a dance, he buzzes out and pulls out a joint and lights it up in the arena. Yeah, <laughs> <was> yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm wondering, because of that, is is that why they're like, oh no, that's a bag of weed. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. Man, that's crazy, man. It's, it's crazy what uh, these people are just come up with oh, you know yeah, when man. they see something on tv like you said they want the information now they're like nah that's weed i know that's weed <laughs> exactly that's weed that's weed he dropped it you know and, <laughs> and you know you jump to conclusions and then it's like oh man it wasn't so you know what's the next you know topic we can jump Everybody on got and their it, phones it, out too just trying to yeah exactly right. so you like, know like news reporters exactly <laughs> yeah so um and the other uh, trending topic is uh, the injury, man. Why do I have to bring that up, bro? He's <laughs> like, why? You're out of your Yeah, ride. man. <laughs> hey, we're we, coming here hey, to cry. We, we, we got to talk about the elephant yeah, in the room. Bro. I mean, oh, yeah. It, the injury did hit us, but at the same time, it's good that it hit us now, not like after game two or game three. Now we've got to find somebody to replace them. I mean, balls was playing pretty good. Yeah. But they're talking about bringing Martin over and bringing balls into the inside. But, I mean, who who knows? You know, next preseason, we'll see what's going to happen. And, you know, hopefully somebody can step up. I mean, that's what preseason is about. Yeah. Step yeah. up. Get that position. No, I, I agree with, with Big Val, man. Right, right now, if an injury is going to happen, let it happen now. Yeah. We got time. We got a few weeks. Get them in there. Get them some reps. You know, get the timing down mm -hmm. uh, because, yeah, man. Because, yeah, it would suck to see him go down right before a playoff run. Yeah. yeah. It'd be like, oh, dude, what do we do now? Or just in the middle of the season. When, or in the you know, middle of a season. They're in rhythm. Yeah. And then somebody bam. new comes in, you know, he has to make that transition. And sometimes exactly. it doesn't plan out just mm -hmm. as they imagine. But, you know, like you said, hopefully right now, you know, they could throw somebody in and, you know, get comfortable real quick and yeah, make know. a name for himself. But we, we you know, saw, they could be that rookie. I mean, yeah, we saw know? it coming, bro. That's why they they had the rookie but, practicing yeah. on the left tackle. Smith, He's supposed to be a guard. Yeah, Tyler. You know, so Tyler Smith. Yeah, he, you know, they have him out there on the yeah, left I'm practicing because you know. he was already hurt. Like when I was there, when the day he got hurt, I was at training camp, and I was looking at him. I think I took video of him, and he already had his his ankle all wrapped up like crazy, and his hand was all wrapped up like crazy. And then I left. I had to go to work. And then I, I saw that video where he slipped and freaking popped his hamstring. Yep. And I was like, damn. So, we, you know, we've been trying to get ready. I mean, he hasn't played a full season since, what, 2015? Yeah, 2015. Part of, he's part of football. Injury yeah, prone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's been getting injured I every think, single season. His back. I think this, this is I think this is the, the dagger in the heart, man. All right. <laughs> it kind of yeah. sucks. Yeah, man. That's, when you're, that's when you're that side, big... Bro. I mean, I'm not talking about big out of shape, but yeah. when you're moving that kind of weight, cutting, and, dude, you're just explosive at that speed, yeah. stuff's going to pop, man. Yeah. Stuff's going to rip. Yeah, and once you're, it's late in your career and it, it stuff starts to add up, your first season, this is pretty much a season ender, man. It's kind of like yeah. uh, Tony Romo. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what it started. Romo, yeah. It started yeah. adding up, and then a season. Uh, hey, you're off for the season. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think they give uh, players enough healing time. You know what I mean? Nah, it's a quick. Let's go get. You know. You know, I understand. You know, when they break bones, and you know, 
I'm like, dude, and they still I, come back. Yeah, but I'm like, man, how? <laughs> yeah, they're playing with huge pads, and you're just like, man, how the heck are you even? But yeah, remember when Tio broke his leg? It. Back in the days, they played. Oh, that. think about how many yeah. people played hurt. Yeah. Or chop off now their fingers. You barely, <laughs> yeah. Like Ronnie Lott. Like, Ronnie Lott. Yeah. Like, come on, now. I see. Y'all got to be a little bit tougher than that. Y'all getting paid some good money. Y'all got to be a little bit tougher. Yeah. I mean, I understand a pull hamstring, pull muscle, but like little injuries, you got to play through it. And they used to play with leather helmets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shoot. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Remember those days, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll go out there and play with the cowboy hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put me in coach. Yeah. Are we talking about flag or tackle? <laughs> exactly. We used to play on concrete, so it don't matter. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But yeah, man. So uh, man, uh, it's it's crazy, man. It just uh, now this injury does hurt, man. Um, yeah, and they haven't played together. That's what sucks. We're going into week one to play Tampa Bay, and the offensive line hasn't played together. We don't even know like exactly who's going to be where. I mean, we kind of have an idea. Mm. But they haven't played together there. They practice together, but that's different. Yeah. Man. Oh yeah. Plays. You know, I, I I was hoping they would give him a series yeah. this last game, so you know you could see something. If that something comes out of it, cool. If not, no. Then at least they they practice a little bit against another team. You know, but mm-hmm. they didn't even go on the field. So I'm like, damn. We'll see. We'll see. That's that's the big question mark. The defense is good, but. Offensive oh, yeah. line and receivers for the first couple games, it's going to be tough. I'm more worried about the offensive line, honestly. Yeah. I think I think with between CD, I'm a, I'll be honest, Pollard. As um, a receiver. Yeah, you know, and, you know, out. I'm going to go third Zeke, but um, between those guys, you know, they should be able to draw some attention off of whoever the next big star is going to be, man. That's, Someone. That's the question. Yeah, I think <laughs> yeah we don't know who. Someone's going to end up being the star. Yeah, you know, they, they it was Amari to. was our number one. And then next thing you know, CD's a star, man, because he's open. Yeah. Yeah. So think, we'll see who, who the next one. I think line hurting right now. I think they're going to run the ball a little bit more to try to open it up. And then. Once it opens up a little bit more, then they'll dish it out a little, little bit oh. to the receivers. But I think they're gonna run it a little bit more. I right hope so, there. man. Yeah, because they're gonna hit a. They're gonna hit the. Because they don't want to. I don't think they want to risk that getting hurt. Nah. Oh that's, hell that's, no. That's what worries me. Oh, this, absolutely not. I I will though. say this, <laughs> and you can write this down. That goes down, bro. <laughs> Knock on wood, man. <laughs> yeah. Man. <laughs> that would take me back to we'll, the 20, we'll uh, be Tony Romo days, man. <laughs> You'll see sweat coming down. <laughs> yeah, our, our backups right now, I don't really have a lot of confidence. Oh, yeah. There. Oh, man. Bro, no, it did not. I mean, you we, never know, but man, it did not look good. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had a solid backup since Romo, Romo. was back. Yeah. You know since what I mean? Romo. Yep, yeah. exactly. And then, you know. He was in the backup for that long because yeah. he took over the team. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? But even after that, you know, we had Dak. And Dak came yep. in. <laughs> he, he pretty much saved us, saved Romo. Yeah. But I think what made him um, very good in the beginning was uh, Tony being in that headset. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, absolutely. Sure. 100%. Mm-hmm. I've always thought I, I would love to see uh, Tony come in and do some coaching for yeah. the boys. Dude, yeah. And, and that, that's the kind of stuff that it just shocks me, man. Maybe that's why I'm not an owner. Because, <laughs> man, that's that was common sense. Yeah, bro. To the fans especially, dude. We're there. Mm-hmm. We're there seeing them. And Romo's explaining to him, hey, dude, watch this guy. Mm-hmm. When you see him bite down, dude, this dude's going to be open. Yeah. And, dude, I mean, that. yeah, you're absolutely right, man. Mm-hmm. Then Romo was gone, and Dak didn't have a good season. <laughs> yep. Exactly. He was okay, but not like, not like, like his dog. Yep. Yeah. yeah, Romo opened up his eyes to a lot of stuff. Oh, a lot of stuff. Yeah, bro. And then once they didn't let him come back, he was like, you're on your own. <laughs> yeah, it was like, hey, dude, you're on your own. It's like... Yeah. I can't blame him. Yeah. Yeah. He just helped it to come back, and they're like, nah, we're going with the hot hand. 
big mistake. Jerry still says it to this day. Yeah. You should have let him come back. He already yeah. has a good backup on deck. No. Got a young rookie for the rest of, you know, his career. Why not let Romo back? But, you know, it is what it is. He was, was he undefeated? I think he was undefeated, right? Yeah. When Romo was ready to go and they were like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> he hadn't lost and they were like, well, does he come back or yeah. not? They stuck They stuck with Dak yeah. and Romo said, I'm out. But that broadcasting money came through. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's you, and, but coach. you can't blame him either. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He won't that coach. kind of money, it's he, like, he, oh, yeah. where do I sign? He knows his stuff when he's on that broadcast. Oh, yeah. Like, Dude, he, have, yeah, he's, he's sharp. Uh -huh. Houdini. He knows which, what he's doing. Yeah, which made you realize, dude, no wonder <laughs> Dak was like, he basically had the answers to the test. Yeah. Know? Hey, that'd be dope if in a couple of years Tony Romo became head coach. With Dallas <laughs> Cowboys. That'd be the shit. The money, that's the problem. That would be. There's big money in broadcasting. He's the highest paid broadcaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's big a money. lot more. Yeah, that's a way more than a head coach. And a, a lot less of a headache. Exactly. That's Just chill, do the game, and go home. That's it. Hey, but we could dream, man. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know true. I mean? that's true. That's true. So sure, what, we could dream. <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all think of uh, the whole Sean Payton? As far as how they're they're saying that um, he's keeping up in the back burner, <laughs> you know, like See hey, let's not let's not jump the gun yet. I think he's gonna make it happen. I think this is the uh, our coach's last season. I'm not yeah. big on McCarthy, bro. Never have been. Nah, when we I, got him, I was like, really? That's that's who we're going with, McCarthy. Yeah, you know, man. Someone that didn't coach for a year. No one wanted him. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I I agree, man. I I think that, you know, I'm calling I'm calling this season my blow up season <laughs> because it, just like the, what they were saying, talking about right now, dude. The excuses are done and over with. I mean, mm -hmm. there there's nothing left on the table for anybody to say. So I think that you know after this year, I mean, dude, we just. It, it's young talent, and it's not like getting younger. It's getting older. It's, yep. hey, man, Gotta if anything less for me, anything less than a competitive NFC championship, I'm talking about 24-21 or, yeah. you know, last-second field, last field goal. We were like, man, dude, we were in the game. All right, man. Anything less than that, no blowout. I mean that no, dude. Competitive, I think it's time to anybody's tradable mm -hmm. and give Peyton the keys and said, build the team, bro. Yeah. Keep who you want. We won't question. Do what you gotta do, man. Cause dude, Jerry, man, bro, he's gotta give it up. But is he gonna give it up? But That's is he give it up? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and oh man, it's I don't see it happening, man. It's just, it's now or never. Yeah, it's now or never, man. He ain't gonna have it. Th he ain't gonna have this opportunity. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, ten years of freaking Jason Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> Every single season, it was Dude, the same damn thing. He's lucky. Dude, we're lucky that Pollard's panned out the way he's panned out for the pay. Yeah. yeah. Because had he not, if he tanks, the kind of money we have tied up on Zeke, dude, who's gonna come? Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. we're lucky. Hey, but I think we're that's lucky. What, that's one of the reasons why Zeke came back in shape. Yeah, he, yeah. he's he's getting pushed. That's for sure. He's like, damn it, I gotta get. I, I mean, get he's got it, dude. Yeah, <laughs> so no, he has no excuses. Hey, if Pollard can make the run, mm -hmm. dude, you you better make the run. Yeah, exactly, for sure. But it takes somebody, dude. Like we were talking, me and Big Val were talking about it. Somebody like Jimmy. That says, dude, I don't care how much you, you're getting paid. Yeah, you're bro. on the bench, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't perform. You're on the bench. Those are the Jimmy. Yeah. Hell, dude, he benched Emmett. <laughs> Remember when he <laughs> sat Emmett? Yeah, yeah bro. Jimmy yep. said, you beat your man, and I'm happy. And I'm happy. <laughs> so just beat your man. And, and what happened? We got some Super Bowl wins. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because everybody wanted to play. Mm -hmm. But if you don't play, you're not going to win. So just exactly. beat your man in front of you, and you're good. That's, that's it. That's, that's what that's I it? asked. I asked Nate. 
I went on that show, the Hanging with the Boys, and I asked Nate after the playoff game. I'm like, so what do you think we're missing? And he was like, man, when we played in the 90s, you knew you were going to beat the guy in front of you. And you wanted to beat the guy in front of you. These kids now, they're just, you know, they get paid. All right, cool. I'll just go and slap hands with everybody. <laughs> I got my money already. Like, they don't have that drive that I want to beat the, you know, out of you. You know, yeah. on the field. I'm better than you. I'm going to drive you all the way to the ground. And that's what they're missing. And you can see it in the playoff game. Oh, right from the yeah. Beginning, bro. Right from the beginning, the 49ers came yeah. out. They came were out, they were, fired, You were just bro. like, what the heck? <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, yeah. You saw. You just saw who wanted it. Exactly. And that's what they need. They need. And it comes with coaching. That's why I don't like McCarthy. And uh, Sean Payton, he will get on their ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? That's oh, absolutely. Fire. He's not yeah. going to tolerate that. Yeah. Hell, yeah. Like, let's go. You want to yeah. play or you want to go home? I think yeah. that's what we're missing because, yeah. you know, I don't like seeing the coach, like, even if they make a mistake. And... Yeah, that was Gary right there. Oh, yeah. dude. I... Why are you clapping for? No. <laughs> Why are you clapping? It's almost like he's encouraging. Or smiling. <laughs> that type of performance. Yeah, I was like. Oh, good no. fumble, Zeke. Standing ovation, bro. I was like, no, bro. Damn, Way to hustle. Man. You know what I mean? Dude. <laughs> Come on. Exactly, man. So, yeah, if this season goes down, which I don't know <laughs> how it's looking with all the injuries already, yeah, I think Sean, Sean should, should be right there next season. But yeah. do you think. You just need everybody to show up and play. That's yeah. It. But do you think that. Jerry would really turn the keys over finally. I doubt it. <laughs> Payton won't come. <laughs> to win. Payton knows him. I mean, they know hey, each he other. Was he was here. Yep. He knows. Yeah, he was here. He knows what it's what it's going to take. Yeah. Payton needs to be like, hey, you want to win? Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Mm-hmm. You don't want to win, then, hey. I'm not the man for the job. Keep the coach you have now. <laughs> yeah. Someone else is calling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but... You know, for him still be available. That's I I, I think he'll be available. Mm-hmm. I think he really wants to give Dallas an opportunity. I I really think this is where he wanted to be. This is where his heart was always. You know, of course he you know he loved the the the, the Louisiana. You know, they were good to him. Mm-hmm. He couldn't complain, man. They were good to him. But I think this is home for him. He lives here, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Think this is home for him, and he's like, man, I'd I'd love an opportunity here, but I think he's gonna give him the the time. He's in no rush. That's another guy. He has nothing to prove. Yeah, he's got yeah. what two right two Super Bowls. Jerry just needs to sit in the box and one? enjoy no, the game. He oh, he has one. Take over. I think I think, I think uh, Drew Brees won two. I don't remember. <coughs> Kenneth, that, Kenneth our sports analyst, it's not the can you look that up? If it's not the Cowboys, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If it's not the Cowboys, I don't care. <laughs> I think, but I'm I not know he, bit, he beat uh, Manning, didn't he? <laughs> okay, one. An elite what, are the, what's, what does the resume have to have for you to say that's an elite quarterback? I mean, I don't think Super Bowls count because uh Romo was a hell of a fucking quarterback you know what I mean Dan Marino was another great quarterback <laughs> that never got a ring you know what I mean so it does to me the a ring does not um I guess would be determine that player's uh, legacy or career you know or what it would be uh, an elite quarterback you know rings don't mean nothing you know what I mean but Except for Brady's case. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, somebody with a, with that go get a mentality, man. You know what I mean? Somebody like Troy Aikman. You oh, know what yeah. I mean? Troy's elite. Definitely. See, for me, I have the elite quarterbacks with Super Bowl. What makes you different than the other 32? You're a world champion. Yeah. Like, to me, dude, yeah. Romo... I think is I and I like Romo. Don't, don't say nothing about Romo. No, I like Romo. <laughs> yeah. I like Romo. But I think yeah. I like Romo, but I think he was the greatest fantasy football quarterback in history. Yeah, but records. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, all tons of, but was he elite? Yeah. He, well, when yeah. you look at Eli, he's standing <laughs> right next to but you and he's going that's, like. That's exactly what it explains to you about. Like, Super hey, Bowls. man, what's, what's the difference between you and Eli? It's like. So Eli is elite because he won Super Bowls? Sucks. Eli's elite. Because he won Super Bowls. He did what he had to do. He did what he had to do. Put that team out there. I yep. mean, I guess it'd be the it'd be the same conversation with uh, basketball. Yeah, because there's there's a lot of legends, legends, bro, yeah, that didn't get that ring. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. But it's, it's like Dirk, for example. But like I, Dirk, but, yeah. But Hyman is saying that you have to have a chance. So you said <laughs> Dirk wouldn't be elite if he didn't have that ring. He'd That's be one of the greatest, but he wouldn't be elite. All right. Elite is like. Top. Best of the best. best yeah. There's like, hey, you're like above the group that's already <clears throat> playing. But see, I think I think they're already in in that elite conversation. Oh yeah, you're elite in, I mean, in America. They're the best of the best playing in the NFL. In the NFL, you know what I mean? Because if not, you're playing arena football. Exactly. <laughs> so you're already elite in yeah. the like the public and and just sport in the sports world. Shoot, because. What what are the like they say like what are the odds of you making it to the NFL like one in thousands of players get to play one, in the NFL one in a billion yeah yeah because there's so many colleges so, so many high. college yeah. kids like, yeah so the odds are so you're in the elite already just getting in the NFL but then if you say hey squeeze it down compact it and if you even want to compact it even more it's the Hall of Fame bro Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame is the elite of the elite cream of the crop. Yeah. But like you said, it's Dan a good Marino, point. Dan Marino's Dan Marino's there, there <laughs> and he don't Yeah. He you don't have one. Bowl. Got a perfect uh season except for Super Dude, Bowl. speaking of when's Romo eligible? He he should be getting close. Yeah, cuz where? I'm man? wondering what's going to happen what's going to happen with him. Well, if he gets inducted, I'll be there that weekend. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we're all be there. We're all be there, bro. Yeah, we're homosexual. Hey, we'll be on the camera. He's elite. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the champ. They'll be playing back video like he is not elite. Because <laughs> he don't have a ring. You don't, don't have no a ring. ring. You're going to have number six foot guys. Hey, Roma, I got like your back, bro. Exactly. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah, Aikman's, a, I mean, elite, obviously. Yeah, for sure. Um, Roger, you know, Montana. talking Montana. He's on that another level when you when you get that Super Bowl win. Yeah, he was. That's so he's eligible say. already. He was eligible. He still didn't get in last year. You see? That right there tells you. <laughs> yeah. And he's got. He he's got pro- the most cowboy quarterback yeah. records. Mm-hmm. He didn't even I didn't even know he was in the conversation. Yeah, it was last year. I remember. So think about it. That he says a lot. Eight. How Snuffed long did him. it take Drew Pearson to get in there? But yeah, you <laughs> see Drew, yeah. and that's that was really disappointing because he's a champ. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. he's a champ. That that was really disappointing. Yeah. I thought that was I uh, I I still don't know, man. I don't know if it, I don't know if it was politics that we're not aware of or front office politics between him and the league and stuff that maybe we didn't know happened. Yeah. But yeah. man, dude, how, <laughs> how do you long, keep a champ out that long? Hey, maybe uh, that long. Jerry let him into the Ring of Honor. <laughs> yeah. He still hasn't. He still haven't put uh, Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, in. He still hasn't bro. put Jimmy. And he, he swore. Yeah, yeah. he, he swore on camera. Yeah, you're either. going in. And still ain't done it. <laughs> still ain't done it. <laughs> still ain't done it. Well, but we'll be Jerry. here for that one also. Exactly. <laughs> Call Jerry. Hey, get Jerry on the line, bro. Get him on speed. <laughs> hey, Jerry, what the hell? I should have asked him that What's when I met on? him, bro. When I interviewed him, I should have asked him that. Exactly, when Jerry. What Jerry the hell? going in? He's half Mexican, bro. Come on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> get him in there. What the hell? But yeah, man. Uh, that's crazy, man. So... Let me ask you this question. Um, from all the, I won't say all the, the teams from the Cowboys, but there's certain ones like the Roger Staubach era, Troy Eggman, Romo, and Dak. I know y'all probably going to either Staubach era or Eggman. <laughs> Depends oh, yeah. on our ages, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> Which one you think was like the... The ultimate team. 
oh, the dude. Cowboys. The nineties. The nineties with Eggman. Yeah. yeah. They were unstoppable, man. They were just Dude, those those are the good the good Sundays, man. Where we would wake up and you knew you were gonna have that win. <laughs> yeah. You're like, who that do we have? Worried. Let's chalk it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You weren't well, sweating it, bro. You weren't worried. Yeah, <laughs> those exactly. are the days where you go to the games. You were cocky and confident, but the glory days. The yeah, glory bro. days, yeah. man. Hell yeah. Even though they're in VHS, those they're, they're the glory days. <laughs> exactly. That's sure, bro. Exactly. You can't take that away, no matter who says what, bro. You know, everybody's like, nah, they haven't won nothing since the nineties. So <laughs> who cares? It's that's still right. there. You still trying to catch up? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that's what I said. Like, hey, talk to me when you catch up. Yeah, nah, but stop. Talk to me when you catch up. Mm -hmm. So, man. um so what do y'all think about Turpin, man? The Special teams. What was the nickname they gave him? Dude, oh, he already got the nickname? Yeah. There's some nickname. promise, man. Yeah. There's some promise. You haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah, since yeah. the Dion. Yeah. The yeah. Dion yeah. days, well, bro. The thing I like about him, he's he's patient with it. He catches the ball and then he looks. He don't just runs. He looks and he's like, okay, I'm going to hit this hole. And then he goes with it. Uh -huh. And once he... Turning boosters on, he's gone. Ain't no catching up. No, nope. he is that hole. He's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 play definitely surprised me. I was like, "Oh <laughs> shit, is he gone? Oh go go I was go!" Like, go. What? Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> bro. I was like, is he actually gonna run off? I was like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, man. We don't get to see that. Hey, I was over here excited, jumping up like it's the season. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Brought that uh that excitement. You know what I mean? Because I I was like, man, I was. Because last year, who did it for me was uh, Michael Parsons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. he came out explosive with that energy. I'm like, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And then now you have a Turpin turning it up. Hell yeah. You know, and. Hey, that man. That just gets me pumped up and hyped up. Because I, I, won't, I won't lie, you know, you know, coming into before the preseason, I was a little skeptical. Like, man, and then I had a homeboy tell me, he's like, you know what? It's like, man, I ain't got no hope for the Cowboys this year. I was like, man, then you ain't no fan, bro. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? You just want to jump in when it's good. Oh, you got to believe. You know? Exactly. No what, you believe. I hate nah, bandwagon this, fans, This, man. this train left for us the day we were born. <laughs> right? You jump on when you're born, yeah. come out of your mom, puts you on the Cowboy train, and it's That's gone, it. bro. But yeah, yeah man. Uh, there's no getting off. I know those those runs got me excited, bro. I was like, man, dude, I was right there. He was coming 50, right at me. The forty, the thirty, the twenty. That stadium, yeah. that stadium was loud of cowboy fans, bro. In they, L.A., they say you reached up to twenty miles an hour on them runs. Yeah, twenty. And he was, he was moving, man. Yeah, so he he went uh, to TCU, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and that's old. That's the old thing, man. We haven't seen that here in a long time, bro. Since Dion. Yeah. You know, of course. I mean, you have your runbacks here and there. I you know, but out. not somebody <laughs> who you can say like, "Hey, man, that's a legit threat. Don't kick to him." Well, we you know, so that, that was good to see. But oh, yeah. yeah, we gotta wait and see what. And, and hey, can, man, impress me in the season. And then you can see yeah. that you can catch the ball. So as a that's receiver, I'm saying, as a receiver be too. Good too with that yeah. Team. Cause that's, that, that's, that's, that's where I, that's but what that, I was thinking. Yeah, to find him though, cause he's so small. He's so small, but he's like a faster Beasley. Yeah, yeah. He's like a a way faster, younger Beasley man but who I can won't just trust him going down the middle though. Nah, yeah, you know, <laughs> not <laughs> yet. No, not I gotta, yet. I gotta see a little bit more. But yeah, definitely. So he's just uh, special teams. Yeah. For right now. That's how he's going to make the team, yeah. Special teams, man. Definitely. Got but you know what? Though, that's that's where you're over, Special teams gets overlooked, man. No, nah, hell yeah. And when you overlook them, they catch you. Missed oh, yeah. field goal, a run back. That changes the game. Yeah. Yep. But that's what changes the game. game that, on the, that, that uh, game against the Chargers. That yeah. Two run backs. That yeah. The game. Changes yeah. the game, man. Yeah. So there's hope. Oh yeah, there's, there's a hope. Spark. There's a spark. There's a Let's spark. See if you could do it in the regular season. Exactly. That's the thing. I know the Dog defense. Defense is one. looking tough, man. Defense is definitely yeah, looking dude, tough. Our, our, think everybody's money's on the defense, bro. Mm -hmm. But it's like they always say, defense win championships. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because if you can stop that offense, yeah, and your offense scores, 
I'm, That's I'm, all you need. I'm ready yeah. for that parade, man. <laughs> Long hey, overdue. We've been waiting for that parade. Seen that come. But what 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 about down. Vanderich, bro? What do, what do you think? Where do you, where's his place now? D Law. Yeah. Where's their place in the defense now? I think Vanderich is okay, but he's too injury prone. I think they they would have been better off with Jalen Smith than Vanderich. Because Jalen Smith, he wasn't injured all the time. Yeah. Vanderich, he's always getting injured. I mean, I like the way he plays and everything, but he does a lot of missed tackles too. Yeah. But they say he's looking good because this is it. If you think about it, Jalen Smith, when he was here, he was first year, he was first place in tackles. Second year, second place in tackles. And you still get rid of him. Like, Yeah. Well, he went down though. That last season, you've seen those plays where he just couldn't even run no one. He was lost. Because that leg, I mean, he's not even playing no more. Yeah. You know, he went and what, played like a game or two? Yeah. And then they cut him too. That's the thing, his leg. You could see he would walk like kind of like a <laughs> pirate, <laughs> run, <laughs> kind of put it down and run. Yeah. So, I mean, he, you know, he had his he had his, his seasons where he was good. But towards the end, I mean, Vanderish, yeah, if he gets hurt again. But from what I've seen and, and what they're talking about, like, this is the season for him. It's like he's he's out, he's on it, which is good because we got Micah, we got Barr, and we got him now. Not so much pressure on him. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. So let him play. He doesn't have to think that much. You know, you got Micah freaking being the lion that he is. Yeah. <laughs> but we also he's got all the over best the field. defensive coach out there. So yeah, yeah. That's true, bro. So what'd you think of them cutting uh, Gregory? Damn, that oh, thing is just man, dumb, bro. bro. I was pissed. I got I got my opinions on that, bro. I was pissed because they babied that dude for years, bro. Mm-hmm. But honestly, man, I, I think there was politics behind that. But I, I I'm the I'm the conspiracy. I'm thinking conspiracy, <laughs> conspiracy <theory>. theories. <laughs> you want you want to hear it? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, dude. I, I think Jerry was trying to draw attention away from his scandal. What better way than to say let a big player go? The whole the whole daughter thing. Yep, <laughs> it were there were Jerry 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 Jerry. You let go of Gregory, and dude, I don't even know where the hell the scandal's but they, at. But they didn't let him go. He left. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what they, they signed, tell you. They signed him. <laughs> that's what they yeah. tell you. <laughs> well, that's it's he like, said. hey, that's what they tell you. <laughs> that's like, why hey, they give him the contract. They just let him go. That's why. Yeah, they, that's and why they, they just have, turn uh, around and say like, hey. That's why they have public relations. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> PR, you know what I mean? It's like, so. hey, man, let a big player go. And all of a sudden, it was like, you did this? Dude, the whole offseason was how bad of an offseason we had. Yeah. Yeah. No one cared about Jerry. Everybody was like, dude, what the hell are we doing? That was the talk. So me, dude, I think it was like, hey, bro, what better way to get the attention off of me and the family Give them, like we said, dude, media, give them something to eat. Mm-hmm. They go over a couple of key players, don't pick up somebody they that everybody thinks you should get. Let them talk on that. And hey, mm-hmm. but, hey but Jerry's a, a big on uh, he's a smart business publicity. Man. Yeah, dude, he's mm-hmm. a smart hey. businessman. So, but I think this one was bad. For me, <laughs> yeah. Hey, but he said this there's no was such bad, thing bro. as I mean, bad he was, publicity. He was fading the heat on what was his name, dude? The his right hand man. Who's Jerry's? Yeah. Will, God, Will he, man, was the guy, you know, he was involved in that scandal. Yeah. Oh, what's his name? Um, that that resigned. Yeah. I forgot. So he had name. that, and then about. his deal, the like yeah, back to back bad scandals. Of chicks and yeah. Stuff like that, cheerleaders. So it was kind of <laughs> like, nah, bro, we gotta we gotta get this attention off of the front office. So that's me. But that's big, and Jerry wants to win. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? But I, I, I think really, I think with Micah really being there, <laughs> yeah, I think with Micah being there, I think that's what he said, man. I think we'll be all right. Cause he could switch it up. Had Micah not been there, nah, bro. There's no way he makes that move. He just takes the heat. He takes the heat. Cause right now, dude, all we're talking about is Micah. Yeah. That's it. As long as he's in the picture, 
He should have got rookie of the year and defensive And defense. Yeah, hell yeah. He got robbed on that, but yeah. it is what it is. It is what it is, bro. It's called the Cowboys. Exactly. <laughs> Cowboy <laughs> country, man. That's what it's so, um, screwed. We're going to go ahead and uh, turn it into the interview mode of the show. And uh, we're going to start with you, Balls Mahoney, man. And just uh, take us down your little trip, man, and just how it all began. Take, take you down the memory lane, right? Yep, yep of course. <laughs> yeah, so I, I moved out here. So I'm a, I am work with DPD. I'm a cop. Oh, man. Yep, since 98. Hide the stash. Hide the stash. You know, so when... So when I came down here, I'll, I'll give you that story, <laughs> you know, because it, it, it it's it's actually funny. And then I talked to the the recruiters now a, that recruited me is now a chief. He's a like a upper upper level chief, mm. uh, great guy. But anyways, of all times, I'm cutting through. I'm at UTEP in, in college, and I decide to cut through, take a shortcut through the auditorium, and I never did that, mm. never. But it was a Monday. And I always said, hey, loyalty Mondays, I always wore a jersey, win or lose. I'm like, hey, no matter what, I'm going to represent. So I decided to cut through the gym, and they're having a job fair. And the first booth right there is DPD. So I walked by, and they're like, hey, man, you're a Cowboy fan? So I stop. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm a Cowboy fan. <laughs> Die hard. They're like, hey, man, you ever thought of living in Dallas? I was like, no. They just never thought of it. You know, I'm here in El Paso. Family's here going to school. It's like, hey, man, so you come work for us. Dude, you can go to every single Cowboy game. <laughs> I was like, hmm, where do I sign? <laughs> so, dude, I signed. And in my interview, hey, so why do you want to be a cop? I said, man, I'm going to be honest. I was told, like, do not lie. Dude. I was like, man, I'm going to be honest with you. Sir, they, they got me with, I can go to every Cowboy game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can go to every Cowboy game. Yeah, you know, I want to serve and <laughs> protect, but hey, man, I'm the Cowboys. He's like, hey, that, that blue almost matches the, exactly. the jersey. <laughs> yeah, the matches, blue. exactly. So, <laughs> you know, I, I, I get over here in 98, and the rest is history, man. I First thing I did was lie to my parents, which I shouldn't have done. I said, Mom... They're asking me for another down payment of rent. I tell my mom, dude, I like 50 bucks. I was a full-time college student, you know, working a little part-time just to pay for my school books and little yeah. necessities. So I tell my mom and my dad, bro, hey, they're wanting another down payment for my rent. Mm -hmm. Oh, Miko, all right. Well, like, can I borrow the money? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So they lend me the money. Man, bro, I went straight to the ticket office, bro. <laughs> 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 Went to the ticket office, dude, got my season tickets, and the rest is history, man. You know, started going to the games there, haven't, haven't missed a game since. And then um, my my brother, as I, you know, may he rest in peace, Pancho Villa. You know, he was one of the bigger fans across in the nation and before he passed away. Um, you know, he started like, oh, I'm going to start wearing a wrestling mask. I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start doing that. And he lived in Dallas. He followed me here, and he would go to the Buffalo Bills games. Wow. And he was like, man, I'm getting to meet all these fans. You know, so I was like, mm -hmm. man, you know what? That's a good idea, man. I'm, I'm diehard. Shoot, I'm going to start start doing stuff. So the first thing I did was buy a get this big chain made. That was the first thing I did. <laughs> and then, you know, memory lane. Uh, I run into a wrecking ball, Greg, great guy. He, um, I get a helmet, and then I just start adding to it, man. And then I think, okay, man, I gotta come up with a with a with a name. Mm. So since I got a whole bunch of wrecking balls, I took the the last part balls. And then I don't know if, uh, for for the older crew, there's a there's a for the older why. people, man. There's there's a some movies. They're called Police Academy. Police They're comedies. Academy. Yeah. And the main cop in that in that Mahoney. is Mahoney. Yeah. So boom, balls Mahoney. You know, because I wanted to represent. Because I said, hey man, I bleed blue. Yeah. You know, I bleed blue, but you know, 
uh the rest is the rest is fair man and, and i'll tell you what bro it, it's the <clears throat> games are obviously awesome bleed blue no matter what but dude th you guys right here bro i tell everybody man shh, dude the f you make family bro yeah, yeah that that's what it's about you you literally meet family bro and you know it was it, it, it wasn't more apparent when than when my brother was was sick the outpouring of support from dude across the nation different parts of the world just fans you know that that just made you realize that like, hey man it's much more than a game and and i dude i will say this to the day i die sports unites bro sports unites bro you could we could be opposite ends of religion, politics, views. But when you're in that stadium, bro, dude, how are we tailgating? How are we getting done? Dude. Yeah. We're all cowboys. We're, we're all <laughs> bleeding blue, bro. We bleed blue. We're cheering for the same cause and, and you know, building on that foundation, bro. Dude, it's endless of all the stuff that we can do, man. He's doing great stuff. He's doing great stuff in the community. Bro, it's it's endless, bro. Mm -hmm. Endless. What you can do, just building off of, hey man, the love for the Cowboys, bro. Yeah. So that that's where my story is to keep it short. But man, I I love love going to the games. I'm at 200 consecutive games. Okay. Yeah. 200 consecutive. The playoff game was mm -hmm. my 200th um, consecutive home games. I only have one away stadium. Well, I have. I went to the old Raiders, but I need to go to the new Raiders. Mm -hmm. And I have Baltimore, and we were supposed to play in Baltimore, and it was during COVID, COVID. and I got screw up. Yeah, <laughs> these guys know, bro. The, the choice words, I was like, God, I'm gonna have to wait. <laughs> but um, I, I I will share this. The the closest I ever came to missing a game was I had surgery. You know, I do a lot of martial arts, mm -hmm. and I tore my bicep. Wow. So they tell me they take me in. I go to the doctor. My ortho says, hey, man, you, you tore your bicep. You're going to have to have surgery done. I'm like, God, this is during the season. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. And I said, um, so when do I have surgery? He goes, surgery is uh, Monday, Monday morning at about 10 a.m. And I was like, doc, I can't. It's He's Monday like, night. Why? What's wrong? Well, I mean, why can't you? And I'm like, <laughs> we were playing Monday night against the Redskins. <laughs> yeah. It was like. I said, I have a game. And he was like, you got a what? I said, I got a game. <laughs> He's like, what, like, what do you play? And I said, no, I don't play. I'm going to the game, <laughs> the cowboy game. <laughs> so he was, was like, well, I think your arm's a little bit more important. And I was like, dog, don't make me answer that. <laughs> but he ended up, I explained it. I showed him pictures. There was an uh, older lady that was having her surgery done at 6 a.m. Mm. So she agreed to switch with me so i got surgery i had surgery done at 6 a.m and i went with a buddy of mine that i told him dude whatever happens you gotta get me into that stadium and scan my ticket you <laughs> gotta get me into dude because i'll ruin my record oh bro you're crazy i said dude i went i took a jersey i bought a a cheaper jerseys because they told me they were gonna have to cut it mm -hmm. so i took that with me and sure enough, dude, dude, I wouldn't wake up, so they took me in a wheelchair. Shut up with the eyes. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. Dude, hey, hey yeah. but I was there, dude, but I'm going to be honest. I, I don't remember anything. The game. <laughs> They're like, dude, eat some nachos, bro. I was like, all right, I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> I was just like, I slept the whole game, dude. But but you I was there. there, man, kept my streak alive. <laughs> but that's the closest I've come, man, to missing. So I know we were also talking off the air, and you said about uh, you was talking about the the whole y'all have uh, fans Hall of Fame, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's several. There's like you know you had Super that was in the in the running for a, a big one. Yeah, you know Ford Hall of Fans, and I'll let him tell you that. But you have Ford Hall of Fans. Uh, you have the the ESF PFUFA, and now like Fan of the Year is making year. a big run. So those those are really the big four. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm part of the the PFUFA and ESF. Um, I'm with I'm with them, and you know I got nominated and and, and selected. So mm -hmm. both are are really good programs, really good programs. And I think they're you know they have some really like I said, man. It's 
they have some really good people, man. It's it's all about the people that you have there, mm. and they're they're making a difference, man. They're making a difference. Yeah, it's that's just a cool. bunch of super fans, group of super fans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you also tell me that uh, you're you have an organization? No. Okay. Well, those are organizations. Huh? Well, yeah, they're organizations. Yeah, they're yeah. they're organizations of like you said, like they're anti-bullying. they're organizations of of like ESF is an anti bullying. Um, organization. Okay. Um, you know, we go out and and talk to the kids uh, at schools, um, at at boys and the boys and girls club, mm-hmm. um, and really, you know, help them. Uh, give them an out. Yeah. A positive out when it comes to bullying, uh, because it's it's a big topic. It's yeah. a big topic. Um, now that school is back, you know, uh, I, we got to get something planned up and, and lined up now that COVID is gone because yeah. before you couldn't get into schools, you weren't yeah. being allowed into schools, but now they're open doors. So I'll be reaching out to these guys pretty soon and, and, and doing something for yeah. sure for the kids. That's Once cool. the, the season really gets cranked up and going, everyone mm-hmm. gets excited about the team and we'll be putting something out real soon that's dope dad not only our fans but y'all give back to the community so oh yeah absolutely you you have to mm-hmm. you have to man you, you have to show the community like i said there's it's much more than just the game yeah much more than just the game you know it's not yeah. about just going out there and like hey i don't care about anything else i'm just no man there's there's a lot a lot of work to be done a lot of work to cool, the, cool. The, to get done And when you're out there, it's, it's about unity because you're out yeah. there, you're having a good time. You forget about everything. You just go out there, enjoy yourself. You know, it's a family event. So you yeah, just go out exactly. There Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. So how about you, Super Cowboy? Well, it all started now. <laughs> <laughs> started with a dream. Back at band camp, one time at band camp. <laughs> started with the, the with the little twinkle. Yeah, my dad's exactly. eye. Exactly. <laughs> My story is a, it's a long story, but my story is a little bit different. Um, I grew up with a younger brother, and I grew up uh, in Mexico and Tijuana. Okay. okay. I grew up in Tijuana, so I didn't know. Baja. I didn't know, I didn't know football. I didn't know basketball. I didn't know baseball. All I mm. knew was soccer. You know, and canicas. Oh yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? So when I was eight years old, I came back. I was born here, mm. but I, I grew up in Tijuana, and then I was brought back to California. And, you know, when I was eight years old, I mean, that's that's the 90s, to, you know. So the Cowboys are in the Super Bowl against the Bills. And uh, I don't know nothing about it. I just heard a buddy, an older buddy mm-hmm. that was in high school saying he's going to have a Super Bowl party. And I'm like, what the hell is a Super Bowl party, you know? Oh, yeah, we're going to have a Super Bowl party. We're going to have drinks and blah, blah, blah. And I'm eight years old. I'm a little kid, but I hear it. I'm like, hey, I want to go. So I tell my mom, I want to go to the Super Bowl party. And she's, you know, a Mex- typical Mexican mom. Like, ¿qué es eso? You know, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> loco. Tú no vas a ir. Super Bowl party. <laughs> Super Bowl party. <laughs> <laughs> so she like, she's like, let me let me talk to, to the kid's mom and let me figure out what it is. And then she comes back and she's like, no, tú no vas a ir. <laughs> I was like, what? What the hell? Why not? Like, no, okay, they're gonna be smoking and they're gonna be drinking, and you're too, you know, you're too young to be in those kind of parties. Like, no, you're not going. I was like, damn, what the hell? Well, I'm gonna check out what the hell this Super Bowl thing is. So I looked it up on the TV back then, you know, waited there until it started. Yeah. You know what I mean? Freaking no TV guy, no nothing, just sitting there. Yeah. You just wait. What I time know. is this going to start? I think Adjust the started. ears. Yeah, yeah, seriously, bro. Put extra four minutes on. Yeah. <laughs> And I put it on, and pff, bro, I just watching the Cowboys just whoop that ass on the Bills, bro. It just pff, as a little kid, yeah, you know, I was like, damn, what's up with this team with the star? What is this, you know? And then from then on, like, I started learning about it and follow them, you know. And I and and elementary, they started giving those dare cards, and I still have them. Mm-hmm. Emmitt Smith and Troy Aikman, and pff, from there on, I just started following the Cowboys, you know. Mm-hmm. And then as I got older out of high school then i started driving i i found out they were doing training camp in oxnard so i'm like only an hour from here like so i started driving to to training camp 
And that even grew even more, seeing the players right in front of you, autographs. I'm like, oh, shit, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, and then after that, um, I started going to games. Like, when they played the Chargers, you know, I wouldn't travel because, you know, I was still freaking, you know, 18, 19 years old. Mm-hmm. So when they would play the Chargers, you know, go down to San Diego and watch the, watch the Cowboys and the Chargers. And I would take a mask, just a mask, and then I would take a flag as a cape. Mm-hmm. And I, they had those cowboy sleeves that says Cowboys. I just put that on and go to the games and, you know, little kids and people, hey, can I take a picture with you? All right, cool. So that's how it kind of started. And then from there, it started growing, like doing watch parties. At, there's so many cowboy uh, fan clubs in California. And I started, you know, looking them up on the yeah. Internet and hey, this and that. And then I would go do watch parties there. So we would watch the games and I started, you know, bringing a cowbell. And little by little, it just started growing, you know, mm. like put a jersey on. These are my pads when I played semi pro. So I found those in the, you know, in the garage. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put my pads on. So I put those on, put a jersey on. Um, the mask, I was like, I gotta get a mask that matches, you know, the jersey. Mm-hmm. Something, you know, that kinda has the colors. So I was looking at all the masks and I was like, hey, blue them one, man. Yeah. I gotta do blue them one. So I grabbed the blue them one, just cheap. I still got the first mask I wore. All beat up, but I put, that on, bro. <laughs> put some cowboy freaking stickers on there, and I'm like, "Hey, it's a cowboy blue them one mask now." There you, you go. Know what I mean, so just from that, it started growing, and then we started doing more stuff like um, community stuff, like feeding the homeless and and stuff like that in California. Mm-hmm. And then I moved here, and then it was. It just, When'd you get here? <laughs> I got here in 19, 2019. 2019. Yeah. 2019, I got yeah, here. It's already been that long, yeah. already, bro. God. <laughs> and I, I remember when he him. came, bro. Yeah, and I was talking to him before I came. Oh, he was okay. like, hey, what's up? And I was like, man, I wish I was there and I could go hang out. And uh, yeah, like, I'm going to be there on this yeah, day. Bro, and like, I'm come like, come on, bro. I'm coming, I'm coming, bro. And he's like, yeah, let's go. And and his brother was still alive. And, and I, I sent him a friend request. And, you know, he he accepted it. But, he you know, that's when he was getting really sick. And I never got to meet him, which kind of sucks for me because I was my stuff that I started adding more stuff. It was because of Ezra. Like, you know, that's cool that, you know, he did all that stuff and people followed him. And that's why I had his patch, which I got to put it back on. <laughs> my new yeah. I'm getting a new jersey. But uh, yeah, because of Ezra, I was like, you know what? I'm going to add more stuff. So I added the pants and I added the boots. Once I moved here, I started adding, you know, player socks. Because these mm-hmm. are the actual socks the players wear and the pants. Yeah, yeah. You know, and all that. And and that's how it, this came about. And uh, But the thing with me is that it opened up a lot of doors, you know. Just mm-hmm. wearing this stuff. Just talking to people. Oh, yeah, what do you do? Blah, blah, blah. Come here. Come do that. Uh, charity stuff. Doing walks. I was already doing walks over there in California. Mm-hmm. But then doing them here. Uh, toy drives and all that. Just doing a bunch of stuff. That's what I like to do about it about uh wearing this stuff it it opens up a lot of doors and and i get to help out you know like people tell me they're like, crazy man you're wearing that in freaking june july yeah <laughs> you know? we did, hey, especially uh, yeah, this year bro. yeah <laughs> it's, it's warm exactly. man <laughs> so in june we did the march of dimes and i'm all suited up let's go so yeah. we walked across the bridge you know in dallas downtown and walked back and stuff like that and and we have another walk coming up in october but uh yeah, I mean, that's the cool thing about it, seeing the kids. You know, I walk around the stadium to the tailgates, giving out stickers. And and now with my radio show, I get sponsors. So now, I can, you know, I could do T-shirts and give out free T-shirts and stuff like that. And But that's how we grew. And it's just been growing and growing and growing, you know. Mm-hmm. Like from doing it, just wearing a mask for years and a cape to <laughs> to this, what you see now, like the finished product. Yeah. You know? Uh, I know uh, Mahone was talking about... Uh, your induction to the oh so nominees? last year, last year, yeah, last year, year. Mm-hmm. twenty twenty one and around yeah yeah last around year. November yeah last year um, yeah and around November I got an email and it was a weird email <laughs> saying hey um, somebody nominated you for the Ford Hall of Fans like do you want to continue if you do you gotta fill out this application and then I was like what the hell is this mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. Thinking of spam, yeah. I was like, nah, I didn't even look at it because it wasn't from the Hall of Fame and it wasn't from Ford. It was like some other company. Yeah. And then I went back to it. I'm like, what is it, bro? I looked at it. Is that, you had to put your social on it. 
your social security. Damn. I was like, nah, I ain't doing that. So I emailed back. I'm like, what is this? Like, I'm not putting my social. And they're like, no, go to the website. You'll see the rules, what you got to do. And they, they do a background check and all that. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? All right. You know, I'll talk to the wife. I'm like, should I do this or what? I'm like, hey, do it. See what happens. You know, maybe they'll pick you. So I filled it out, send it with pictures and videos or whatever. They didn't think nothing of it. And then they hit me back like, hey, can you do an interview at the star? All right. Like we're picking who's going to, you know, who's going to get nominated. And I was like, all right, I'll do it. Yeah. When? Oh, we don't know yet. It, it might be Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Like Jeez, we don't know. Yeah. yeah, bro. We don't know when we're going to get there or whatever. So finally, I think it was like a Tuesday night, like afternoon. Like, hey, can you be over there tomorrow at this time? And I was like, yeah. But they're being kind of shady. Like, they wouldn't give me information. Like, yeah. not a time, where, just at the start. We'll let you know more. Finally, they told me, you know, meet up or whatever. And I told them, because I don't take my mask off. That's the thing about me. Like, when I was going to wear the mask, I said, I'm going to wear it and I'm going to take it off like the luchadors. Yeah. You know, then you, no one knows their face. So I put my mask on at home, take it off when I get home. So a lot of people don't know my face. So I told them that. I said, well, I don't take my mask off. Is that cool? Because, you know, I want to do the interview of who I am, Super Cowboy. Like, I'm going to yeah. wear the mask. And they're like, well, you'll do the interview without it. And then you could put it on. And can you help us do a toy drive? You know, like help us out with toys, uh, receiving toys. I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. That's what I like to do. Hey. So I go up there. They took video of me at the start, just right there in the entrance and stuff. Car comes up with toys. Help them out. The video, you know, they did video of me helping this lady out and whatever. And then, like, let's do the interview outside. And I'm like, outside? And it was windy that day. Like, what the hell? Why would we do it outside? I'm like, mm-hmm. right, whatever you guys want to do. Anyways, long story short, <clears throat> a car comes up when I'm doing my interview. And then the guy's like, oh, hold on. Someone's here with toys. I turn around. It's Drew Pearson. <laughs> oh, wow. And a freaking brand new, like, uh, what was it? Dodge Rap? No, Ford Raptor or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he comes off, and I met him before, but at Super Cowboy, right? And he comes up, and he's like, hey, Miguel, how you doing? And I'm like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> like, how does this guy know my name? And then he's like telling me, like, I'm here to nominate you for the Ford Hall of Fans and blah, blah, blah. Man, I started crying, bro. Wow. <laughs> I started crying. I was like, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he's like, you know, you represent the Dallas Cowboys as well and blah, blah, blah. And. Yeah, that's that was that's what happened last year. It was crazy, bro. Like, and to try to get votes and this and that, and, and like I said, we're the Dallas Cowboys, so we're always getting screwed. Because yeah. <laughs> I didn't get it. They don't I like get the it. Cowboys. Yeah, man. I didn't I get it, we bro. gotta figure that one out. A lot of people voted, not only like Dallas Cowboy fans from all over the country, but like other fans from other teams. Because I'm also, you know, in that ESF group. Yeah. And. and Everybody that I still meet today, they're like, bro, we voted for you every day, bro, from tablets and phones and everything, computers. Yeah. How did you not get that? I said, I don't know, bro. They don't even tell you the votes, like how many votes you get or nothing. Did you get a letter or anything? Nothing, bro. They just, and the messed up part is like, hey, record yourself. They're going to show it on Good Morning Football, who won. Record yourself. So I keep the kids from school. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm recording myself, you know, oh, here, it's going to come out. And it comes out, and I, I still have the video. I can't even look back to delete it. Like, my kids were all, like, wanted to cry, and they were all Man. sad. And I was like, damn, dude. But it, it happens. I mean, it still was cool to get nominated. I mean, of all the fans in, in the country, yeah. you know, to be trying to represent the Cowboys in oh, the yeah. Hall of Fame. Because you, you get a plaque, and you get a ring, and you get all this stuff in the Hall of Fame. So I got close. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah hopefully close. you'll get it, man. Yeah, this year actually they nominated me for the fan of the year. And okay. I'm looking for nominations for that. Because the more nominations you get, you get the better chance to get it. So okay. another fan from another team, mm. the Arizona Cardinals, actually nominated me. And he was like, dude, you gotta be the fan of the year, bro. And and he's like, You gotta push it, bro. I yeah. already nominated you, so push it. So I've been trying to push it, you know, people to go on the website. You know, NFL.com fan of the year and just fill it out. There you go. Nominate them, man. <laughs> there you go. So, I, you know, I would know in October if I got it or not. Well, we'll see what happens. That's cool, man. Well, we'll be looking forward to that, man. And good luck on that. Yeah, I appreciate it, brother. Yeah. So now let's get to Big Val. 
hat plug. <laughs> the hat plug. Oh. The hat plug. <laughs> well, when I was young, I was born here in Dallas, so, you know, everybody said you should be a Cowboy fan, but I wasn't into football like that. I was more into quarterbacks. I used to follow Dan Marino, Bledsoe. You know, I had all the jerseys, mm-hmm. all quarterback jerseys. Then uh, when Troy Aikman came, we had that losing season. That's when I became a Cowboy fan. I told my brothers, because my brothers used to give me hell, like, you got to be a Cowboy fan. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, all right, well, this year I'm going to be a Cowboy fan. We went 1-15, but, you know, it is what it is. But if we played that team, if I had that jersey, I used to put it at the front door. Like, badass jerseys, they stepping yeah. on them and everything. I'm like, I'm going to be a Cowboy fan, so it is what it is. <laughs> but since then, bro, I've been a Cowboy fan, and then um, she's been representing my team. And then about... Five years ago, I started doing all the hats. I just went to a gas station one time, and I was like, I'm going to see what I can do with it. So I went to my guy that did my stickers for me, mm-hmm. ordered some stickers, put them on the hat, went out to the backyard, spray painted it, and had a finished product. I was like, well, I'm going to rock it, you know? So I started rocking my hat, and everybody from our car club, Capital Life family, started, hey, bro, I need one of them hats. So I was like, all right, cool. So I'm starting to go to different gas stations, trying to get all these hats for my guys and stuff. So... I'm running all around town getting these hats, buying more stickers, and uh, spray painting these mm-hmm. hats for them. We go out tailgating. People want the hats, too, now. So I'm like, well, I ain't got no hats. So <laughs> slowly, I just end up hooking up with this one guy that I bought the hats from at the gas station. I just looked him up, and he's like, hey, if you come get the hats from me, I'll come to you wholesale. You know, my deal to you, and, you know, you just keep coming back to mm-hmm. buy the hats from me. I was like, all right, cool. So I started buying hats from him. So I was like, man, I got to learn how to airbrush, bro. So I started learning how to airbrush. And my girl, she had the machine to do all the stickers and everything. So it was a lot easier for me to do them. But at the same time, it was taking a lot of time. So I had to get get a, pro, a system down where I could, like, I could knock them out quicker. Mm-hmm. But the more you try to go fast, it just doesn't work. It just, yeah. it, it's time consuming. It takes time. But. Man, I've just been knocking out the hats, and I've been blessed, man. I've been getting a lot of customers throughout the whole United States, from California to Florida, bro. It's just different teams. Hey, they loving them. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, These yeah. are definitely dope hats, man. Uh, let them know. Uh, get plug in. Oh, so yeah. Everybody knows me on Facebook as Valentin Robles, so just hit me up on Facebook. I'll knock them out for you. But you know, I, me, when I became a super fan, I was like, I wasn't really a super fan. I just like dressing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, my boy, uh, Maha Badlito, hooked me up with Balls. And then I'll tell Balls, hey, man, you going out of town to a game? He's like, yeah, we're going to be at this game. I said, like, all right, well, mm-hmm. I'm going to hook up with you. So he hooked me up with a lot of people out there. So when I go out of town and stuff, he's like, hey, hook up with these people, this and that, this is where I'm going to be at. So he helped me put my name out there, too. So now when I go out of town and everything, they know me. And it's like, yeah, they're, they're, I already know you, man. They, like, they, they're like, hey, man, is, is the hat plug coming? <laughs> and, uh, like, they're already asking, man. <laughs> like, two years ago, it was like, me and my boy were like, you know, we're different. We support different teams. Yeah, yeah. support Denver. I support Dallas. So, Renegades came into town. So, it was like, man, let's do it. You know, celebrate and hook up with this one team and let's do what we do so mm. you know i did some outfit for us we did some hats and stuff and we get out there and man we were like like the face of renegades bro it's like it was crazy we weren't even trying to look for it but it just came to us man and now that the renegades coming back next year bro they're already asking for us and stuff too so it's like it's just you just ride it yeah see where that roller coaster exactly is. man yeah that's dope man because and then you also said you uh you be tailgating out there. Oh, yeah. We uh, tailgate in Lot 11, right next to the pawn shop. Lot 11 next to the pawn shop. Boys, they come through, too. But, uh, yeah, we we got a car club. It's Cowboy Life Family. We got cowboy cars. But we go out there, and we just show love to everybody. You come through, you know, we tell you, hey, you know, come through, have some fun. Mm. It's a family event. You know, we got TVs out there. So if you want to watch a, a game before the Cowboys game start, you can watch it there. Or if one of your partners got a ticket to a game and you don't, you can just stay out there with us and hang out, you know. It's it's all family. So yeah, man, that's dope, man. And have a good time. Yeah, man, it's dope, man. I be seeing y'all all over the place, man. As a matter <laughs> of fact, the other day I was watching. Uh, it was it? Yeah, first take. Oh, and yeah, I got to see, good. you know, I got to see both of y'all on there, and I was like, oh shit, look, yeah. <laughs> the guys right there, super fans. And then 
You weren't there, but I got to see your hats on TV, though, man. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? Out there. They were definitely in the house, man. Oh, hell yeah, and, they uh, were. <laughs> nah, man, I be seeing y'all do y'all's movement, man, and it's and it's crazy, man. And, and you know, that I love it, man, especially because y'all representing my team, man. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's the that's the dope part about it, man. Already, and y'all go extreme yeah, with it, man. I be seeing you, the <laughs> outfits and everything. I'm like, man, that's dope. That's lit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, man, hey, yeah, man, that's dope that y'all represent the Dallas Cowboys. And I'm pretty sure y'all made a bunch of Dallas, Dallas Cowboys, right? Yeah, oh, man. yeah, man. From old to new? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Man, <laughs> that's dope. Do y'all, do y'all get autographs and all that or what? Yeah. Oh, they're I, funny I about it. I, yeah, I, like to take I got pictures. a couple. Yeah, and, and, you know, the more you're around them, you kind of learn – the, there's a place and the not then then there isn't a place mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. they're they're people man they're just like they're just like us man you know i i work at an off duty job at at this restaurant it's called Nick and Sam's and it's a high end steakhouse and they love going there and obviously that's not a place man you don't go say like hey dude <laughs> um stop eating your steak can you sign <laughs> can you sign my football and he's like, like- yeah, exactly. Like, really, bro? <laughs> you know? So, um, yeah, you, you learn where it's, there's a time and place for, for pictures. And mm-hmm. the more they see you and you engage, that's how yeah. you gain their respect. They're like, oh, yeah, hey. You know, because they know, they understand that, hey, they know how to act. They know, hey, they know there's a time and place for mm-hmm. everything and mm-hmm. and stuff. And that's the important thing, bro. Just knowing there's a time and place for everything. Yeah. yeah, and me, I'm not good with autographs. I get something autographed, I'm like, I'll pass it on. I know. <laughs> I know, man. He shows me his Oh, dude, that's cool. Hey, bro, did you frame that? Ah, oh, no, nah, bro. I gave that to my boy over here. He, he liked it. And <laughs> like, I, I want a Jason jersey. And then, you know, I mean, I could hang it up and everything, but I was like, nah, it's one of my boys, a big Jalen Smith fan. So I was like, hey, here's a jersey, bro. It's autographed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, to me, autographs. <laughs> It, it just never caught my attention. But, like, I met uh, Tony Dorsett. He got two of my hats. Bro Campbell, Two mm. Tall Jones, Dirk Nowinski got a hat. Dang. So, mm. you know, it to me, it's like, as long as they wear Even the media, here, even bro, the like, sports media has, has this hat. <laughs> they, <laughs> they do, man. They do. Mundo <laughs> has a hat. No, damn. Hey. Network. Money Elms got a hat, man. There you go, oh, man. man. Bow for this hat, Bam. man. Bam. It's perfect. Look, hey, look at that. Bam. There Style you go, for man. The show. Hell yeah, bro. Hey, <laughs> these hats are dope, man. Y'all need, to, y'all need to get one, man. Even if you're not a Cowboy fan, hey, he still makes for your team, man. Yep. That's if you're dope, man. not a man. Cowboy fan, become one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Hey. <laughs> hey, I seen the, I seen the other hats. They're, they're dope. You know, got some dope customs, but... It's like, ain't, ain't nothing like this. Ain't nothing ain't like the like cowboy, that, man. <laughs> if, if we don't have the cowboy logo on there, man, it's it's not a big bow. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. If you get any team, guess what? You still got that cowboy hat on. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hell yeah. There you go, man. So, do y'all got any big events coming up? Just the, the season opener, man. You know, that's always a big tailgate. Like, and like he said, man, follow the good smell. Yeah. I mean, these guys get down, man. <laughs> turkey legs. Where, where it frisky. smells good. That's what I was going to say. Those turkey legs. Woo. Yeah, dude. Just just follow this, <laughs> the good smell <laughs> all the way <laughs> to Lot 11, man. Ball. It's good stuff. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's 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 going to be an awesome time, man. Yeah, Might have to stop by and sure. give me turkey leg. Yeah, you got to come through, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah you gotta, definitely, man. You got to come through, man. You don't do turkey legs all the time, but when you do... <laughs> so, meat fall off the bone, bro. Oh yeah, yeah dude. It's just they just literally just go poop, and all the meat falls off. There you go, man. Uh, do y'all got any special shout outs, man? Man, to, to these guys right here, man. <laughs> you know, Val helps me out a lot with, with getting stuff for my outfit. I owe him a lot. You know, there's a lot. There's a lot of people that that help you become who you are, man. It's just not. Yeah, it's, not it's just not you, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, wrecking ball, Val. You know, he's throwing ideas at me. He's giving me stuff. You know, it's just a, it's a team effort, man. We all take care of each other. Yeah, we support each other too. Like, if yeah. you got to be there, then you show up. You I show up exactly. You show up. He says, "Hey, man, you guys come out here. We're gonna do this." 
cool. We get out there. You know, he just had a big one for the the, the a cook show. Food Network. Food Network. Food Network. We went out there, yeah. gave our support. So we're all coming out on that. You know, Food so. Network. That's coming up during the season. So join the family, man. <laughs> Leave new <Luke> for life. <laughs> <laughs> Join the family, man. I do have I do have a walk in October. I don't know the date for sure, but if they follow me on, on Instagram, underscore Super Cowboy, TikTok is Super Cowboy, uh, Facebook Super Cowboy, Super Cowboy. I have a walk. It's for the North Texas Down Syndrome. Mm-hmm. It's in October, so you know the weather would be a little bit cooler, hopefully. <laughs> so if you guys want to come out or donate, that'd be kind of cool. Um, and then I'm starting the the toy drive for the Boys and Girls Club. I'm starting that one early because we did Grand Prairie, which mm-hmm. was cool last year. Uh, every kid took two to three toys, but the guy that's in charge of, I think, most of the Boys and Girls Clubs, he was telling me that East Dallas is, is hurting over there. So they're like, hey, bro, can you guys do it bigger and, and move it to other clubs? I'm like, hell yeah, bro. So, you know, then you guys know if you guys could help out too, you know, as many toys as we could, could, could get. So that way in December, you know, we'll go and, and take those toys to them. Because, you know, I took pictures and stuff. And the yeah. kids were just like, they didn't even know what toys to pick. Yeah. There was like tables of toys, you know what I mean? So that's one that I'm starting early. So where they could, uh, let them know where also they could uh, hear your radio show. Oh, yeah, the radio show. I just started the radio show. It's on radiometoplex.net. Uh, you can hear, you can, uh, hear the audio there. But it's also live on Radio Metroplex, mm-hmm. and then it's live on my Super Cowboy, Super Cowboy on Facebook. Um, we always share it everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll see it live, and it's Saturdays at noon mm-hmm. here, and, and we have it the studios here in Arlington. So yeah, you can check us out. You know, it's it's me, uh, Rowdy Joe. He's our DJ, mm-hmm. and then we have Princess Angie. You know, she gets down on all the stats and and all that. You yeah, know, yeah. She, she knows she knows football, so. I still get people telling me like, damn, man, she does that professionally. (laughs) I'm like, no, she just started doing it. But yeah, yeah, it's it's fun. You know, I'm kind of the clown of the of the show. And then Rowdy Joe pulls the jams and and she gets down on the interviews and and all that. But yeah, if you guys want to tune in uh, every Saturday at noon. Man, there you go, man. Y'all make sure to tune in, man. And uh, how about you, Big Val? Yo, man. The food ready, the secret recipe. <laughs> Dude, I'll, I'll say this, man. If you haven't had his discada, bro. Exactly, bro. I was about to say you, that. You, you <laughs> gotta come out, man. I'll have it on the first game. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. You heard it here first. Now I'm gonna have to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna show up. Damn, too. Yeah. I'm sure you're gonna have to show up at the stadium. We're gonna yep. throw Tom Brady up in there, too. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Put him out the grids. I'll, I'll get him so full that he can't play. <laughs> no, but I think he was talking about putting him on the actual Put grill. him on the grill. Get yeah, him in the go, grill. Spin. <laughs> Man, man, I want to thank y'all, man, for coming through, man. Show oh, me some you. love, man. Already. Dallas Cowboys super fans, man. Man, I love it, bro. I love the energy. I like everything, the movement y'all be doing, man. That's the costumes, the custom hats, man, everything, man. This sure. is going down, man. Most definitely, man. I just want to thank y'all for coming through, man. And representing for these boys, man. No way. Right. Cowboy hey, Nation, man. Cowboy this. Country, man. I'm yeah, telling yeah. you, man. You know, we'll see uh, where we end up. We're going to look at these predictions, man, yeah, that we bro. made. And uh, we'll see. There you go, man. There <laughs> we'll see who's close there, man, for sure. Hey, man, stay, stay tuned to Detroit. We might have something special for Dylan. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Lot 11, man. Special. Next yeah. to the pawn shop, Put man. Put that down on your calendar. <laughs> yup. Hey, and if we're you're from out of that. town, you're from California, whatever, man. Hey, all Dallas Cowboy fans are welcome. Even if uh, you're not a Cowboy fan, man, you're still welcome, man. That's right. <laughs> Nobody's yeah, perfect. Those are, those just are stay open. <laughs> yeah, man. So, man, thank y'all. Appreciate it for, for coming through. And I appreciate y'all, the listeners, the audience, for tuning in, man. Appreciate the love that I'm getting, man. Thanks, man. And uh, like I said, man, keep your ears to the street, and I'll catch you on the blog, man. It's your boy, Money Elms. Peace. <laughs>